So Bootstrap 5 is out now and we have bunch of amazing feature in Bootstrap 5 and one of the most important feature that we have in Bootstrap 5 is utilities. Now you can create your own kind of class that you can use and get your own kind of style. So in this video you are going to learn all about utility API. So and get ready and dive into it. So here I'm in Bootstrap 5 website and here is the URL you can also come here and here you can download the Bootstrap file so just download it and also if you want you can install it with npm from as you can see that here and also you can use the CDN for it so that's the bootstrap and just download it from here and so let's download the bootstrap 5 come here and as you can see that you have some download options here so first one is the compiled css and jazz i don't need this because i also want the sas files mm, uh, for that i need to download this one with the source files and because as you can see that we also have this so just download the source so here is the download file and as you can see that that's the bootstrap 5 alpha 1 and just extract the files from here and here is the files so open it as you can see that that's the file and here is the all the bootstrap files so just rename this one i will keep it only bootstrap so that's the file and also let's create a project file here so that we can practice so test so here what i need actually i need to drag and drop these files so now in our test project what we have is we have the bootstrap and let's also have our index.html file index.html and also let's open this file or this project file in our visual studio code and here it is so as you can see that that's the bootstrap file that we renamed a little bit ago so and also we have this index.html file so if i open our bootstrap file so let me first of all let me zoom in so that's the bootstrap file and let's open it and as you can see that we have the all files and the file we are interested in which is this one distribution and if i open it we can see we have our css and also the js file so in the css file you can see all the css file for the grid and also other things utilities and also if you can see this is the main one which is the bootstrap.min.css or you can use only the bootstrap.css but i will suggest to use the minified version if you use this css so also you can see that we have all the js files here so but we will not use the css because we will use sas so for that you can see that we have the sas file and here as you can see we can so here as you can see that we have all the sas files that we need to use or we can use from here so you can use bootstrap.css file where you will find all the functionality together but if you want you can use or you can import only the individual file if you want something like that you can use the cart size file or something like if you want the container size file only you can you you can import them if you want but for now we will use this one bootstrap.css file so that we can grab all the bootstrap functionality so let's grab those files from here so in our html let's create a boilerplate and here and also let's have our sas file here so just first of all let me close this bootstrap file and let's create a sas file so style dot scss so also i already have a extension which is live so let me just search it live sas 
compiler i believe yeah this one so just install this live source compiler and for that i believe you will need some kind of json settings so for that i wanna so for that i wanna show you my settings so live source compiler so if you already use this live source compiler i believe you already have the settings and here is the settings if you want you can copy this from here so i have the settings so that's it i already have this sas and let me just watch sas file so what it will do it will create this css folder and where i will have my css compiled css from this sas so everything is working fine so the first thing what i want in this sas file is i want to import the bootstrap.sas file which is this one yeah this one so just import this so import and here i wanna go to the bootstrap and i want to go to the sas file so where is the sas here and also i want to grab this bootstrap.scss file so just i want to import this and if i save it and if i come here in our css file you can see that we have all the bootstrap in our css file because we imported the sas file here and it is just compiled into this style.css so which is looking fine so now we can use our sas file on with the bootstrap so here in the in uh, so now in our index.html just link the style.css file which we created so it is in the css folder and style.css which is this one so we have it we want a structure so for the structure so i will use this bootstrap card for the example so just copy this code for the card and come here in the body just paste it and save it also save our css file and open it our live server yeah that's it if you can see it is working perfectly fine we have our style here which is from our bootstrap 5 so what i need actually in our here so just add some basic bootstrap class so class so i want to display it flex and also justify content sorry just content center and also i want align items center align items center and also i want the height of 100 percent so actually instead of this 100 percent let me use bo height which will make it in the center so you can see that that's our cards here so also i want some padding here in the body so let's use padding 5 which will also work here so as you can see that it's working perfectly fine here so the next thing what i want actually i want to show the utilities functionality so here in our sas file as you can see that we have the bootstrap.sas means we have all the bootstrap in our sas file so for now if you can see that we have these colors which is background blue and also we have these colors theme so for the color theme if i come here in our style sorry in our bootstrap in the sas file you have all the files that we need actually if you open the variable.scss and also the utilities.scss those files which we need so as you can see that in the variables if i come here and search for color theme so you need to search for you need to search for theme color so here as you can see that we have some theme color which is our primary secondary and success info and all the other colors so that's what bootstrap used for the default behavior 
which we have this primary color we have secondary and all other colors and if you can see for the primary we are using a primary variable and also in the top here as you can see that for the primary we are using another variable which is blue and if I come here for the blue we are using another variables called blue and in the blue which is this one so this blue variable which means this color which is ultimately our primary color so that's the primary color that's bootstrap use for the default behavior and also we have our secondary color which is gray 600 and success green all other things so if you want to change those values or from the primary if you want to use another color what you can do actually if in your style.scss file you can come here and say that i want to change the primary color for the all bootstrap for my version so let's come here and call this primary and change the value so let's say that i want to change it to um, crimson yeah and if you save you can see that the color for the background is changed now it is crimson so now we have a primary color which is crimson and let's also see that which is the secondary one which is the gray 600 i want to change it also I want to use something like second jewelry color will be so for the secondary color what I want to use I want to use purple so for the purple will be the secondary and we have the crimson for the primary so that's how we can override any kind of variable from our on bootstrap so let's come back to the utilities so if i open this utilities.scss as you can see this utilities folder or this file here we can find all the utilities that bootstrap have so how this utilities works so if i open here if i come as you can see that so whenever i will write justify content center if i come here and search for justify content so and here as you can see that this is the utility that we are using here utilities justify content center if you can see here whenever i am calling this justify content i am actually targeting this property css property justify content and the value as you can see that we used center justify content and center so that's the utilities how works we can create this utility this kind of utility our own kind of utility so that we can have more flexibility in our work so actually let's get back to the style.scss file and create one so that you can understand it well so for the first utility what we need to use what I need to do actually if I come here as you can see that this is the syntax that we need to follow you for that what I need actually I need to create this utility default so let's create this utilities and we need to make it default and also we need to create our utility map merge also let's create this so utilities utilities and map merge and here as you can see that for the map merge we will need two kind of parameters as you can see so for the second one what i need actually i need to give the utility variable utility and for the first one we will have our own utility so let's come here and create a parenthesis here and bracket and here in the end we we need a semicolon here so here we can use or we can create our utilities so let's create a new utility here so let's create a border radius utility so let's create say that border radius Mm, radius okay and for that what I need actually 
I have to say that which CSS property I want to target. So let's say that I want to target the border radius CSS property. So in the property, I need to say that I want to target border radius. So actually, as you can see that this is the name of the utility and this is the property which we need to target in this utility. So whenever we will call this utility. Okay. So also let's say that I have a class. So how we can call this with this class actually. So let's say that whenever I will call BR, I will call this utility BR for border radius nice name and also let's have some value sorry values and for that let's say that for the zero i want to have zero and for the one i want to have 10 pixel and also for the two i want to have 20 pixel and for the three i want to have 30 for the 4, I want to have 40 pixel, and for the 5, I want to have 50 pixel, which is massive. So as you can see that this is the utilities for our example. And actually, let's test this utility in our project here. So in the index.html, so in here, as you can see that we don't have some kind of border radius. So let's so use our own border radius utility in this card so in the card body for the first one so let's have it so we need to call our class if i come here as you can see that this is the class that we created or that we named here so let's call it with this class br and also we need to send the value how we can send the value as you can see that for the values we have something like one for 10 pixel two for 20 pixel so we need to add this value with a hyphen here so let's use 2 which means 20 pixel and if I save so it is not working I believe I need to apply it in the card actually so br2 and as you can see that it is working perfectly as you can see we have 20 pixel let me open the inspect here so if I come here something like here in the card body sorry in the card br2 and as you can see that for the br2 class we have our css which is this one border radius 20 pixel if you want you can use one or you can use zero let's say that i want zero as you can see that we have sharp corner i want one which is 10 pixel as you can see so that's how utility works so you now you can use your own utility from the bootstrap 5 also you can override your existing utility so for that what you need actually so if i come here for the width let's say that if i come here utility and search for width and here as you can see that's not what we want yeah this is the thing that's we want so with utility as you can see for the property we are having this and for the value we are having this value which is percentage so let's have something like pixel in pixel let's say that i want to have my width in pixel instead of this percentage this is only for the practice so that we can see so if i come here and let's actually demonstrate you so if i come here and let's actually show you so in our body if i use width something like 100 so let's see how it is working now. So with 100, W100, as you can see that it is working in the percentage. So let's create or override actually, override these utilities from our style.css. So for that, what I need actually, after this, our border radius utility, let's have a comma. And so after that comma, what we need actually, we need to call it with the same key here. So let's come here once again so width what is the width yeah this is the width and the key is actually the width so we need to call it with the same name so width and what I actually want is I want to set everything so it will override our existing utility so here say that property 
will be the width and also say that I want to have the class name if you want you can create your own class name as we did in the border areas so for now let's have the w the default one and also say the values so for the values what we have here we have in percentage here as you can see some percentage so i actually want to copy this and paste it here and as you can see that does not something like that i want to give it something like that as you can see that's the value here what we have so for the 25 i want to make it something a random number something like that that's only for the experiment purpose so that i can show you so i have something like that instead of our percentage value that we have before so if i now come to our here in our html as you can see that we already have our with 100 and let's inspect this let's see so which is now changed and then the new value is now 1000 pixel as you can see so we successfully operated our width utility from bootstrap 5 as you can see here and for that as you can see that we have a scroll bar because we have fixed width here so let's actually get back to the utility and here just remove the it i don't want it i want to show you just how you can operate things here so uh, now you can see that we have our utility which is this border areas and actually i want to show you some more functions so for that let's actually come here and create our another utility let's create a border color border color you can name it anything if you want so in this utility i want to target the property property which is our border color so in this border color i want to have a class so the class name which will actually we will use in our css sorry in in our html so the class name that i want to use is bc for border color nice name so the responsive so what is the responsive i will show you in a moment so let's say the responsive is true and also say that the values that i want so let's say that i want to have black and for the black i want the value black actual color and for the white i want the white color and for the crimson so actually as you can see that we already have our primary and secondary color here so actually we can use those color in our values so let's say that whenever i will call the primary means this primary i want to have our primary color which is defaultly we set it here as you can see and also let's have the secondary secondary so here as you can see that those are the variable from our top of the file as you can see here so let's call this function in our index.html so beside this br1 let's have the bc primary or bc black actually for the first time let's have the black as you can see here we have this black border which is the border color as you can see so that's it so also let's try the primary one primary so as you can see that this crimson color is already applied in our border color bc primary so working fine so let's come to our responsive true which is actually our bootstrap responsive function means you might saw this thing something like bc sm primary means something like whenever i will use sm or lg means for large sm for medium sorry a small sm for a small and md for medium and that's how bootstrap use our media query so what i am saying here whenever i will have this responsive true here whenever i will have this responsive true i can access those a small and large or 
medium media query so how can we call them we can call them something like that we need to use our class name for after that we need to use our media query name and after that we need to use our value so that's how it works so let's say that for the a small means for the a small device we will use our primary color but whenever i will go to the large i want to change the color from primary to the secondary and whenever i will in the mobile device sorry medium device i will go back to the black so let's see how it works so as you can see that i am in the medium device that's why it is now in black so let's go to the small device let's see so as you can see that in the small device i have this crimson color which is from here as you can see the bc a small primary the a small primary means the primary color is our this color as you know that it's working perfectly so let's also test this large one whenever i will go to the large device it is now in black because our secondary sorry yeah secondary color which is black i believe not black it is purple okay as you can see that we made a mistake i don't want to have this dollar sign here because it, this is something like the key so as you can see whenever i will go to the something like in the large device this border color is now changed into the purple so it is working perfectly fine as you can see here that's the border color and that's the responsive true how we can use so after that actually let's create our another utility something like border and for the border what i want actually i want to say that property that i want to target which is actually the border and i want the responsive true so that i can choose the medium or the media queries so true and after that i will have values so for the values as you can see we have only if i come here in the utilities for the border we have only one or two values as you can see we have null means whenever i will call only the utility by this border name i will have something like border with one pixel solid and the theme color something like that and also we have border zero means there will be no border okay so that's how bootstrap have but i want to some more so let's say that in our border i want to have something like basic one and in this basic one as you can see i will have one pixel solid and something like black also basic two so actually let's have some five of them okay so for this one i want to have two pixel for the three i want to have three pixel i want to have for the four four pixel as you guess i believe for the five i want to have five so as you can see we have some values so let's use this utility in our index.html so here as you can see that all the utility in our card let's use this so actually let me come here and give it a class name actually whenever you don't have any class name here what it will do actually it will work with this name which is our given name for the utility so let's use this one so border basic one so it will create one pixel as we already have here i believe yeah so let's also have these three so that we will have three pixel as you can see here we have three pixel where it is and also if you can see the other the media query for our previous one it is already here as you can see for the small we have this for the medium we have this so where is the border basically this is the one as you can see we have three pixel solid black 
and that's how it is working so we can use also the medium or a small the media queries so let's say that whenever i will have a small device i will have the basic one and but whenever not basic one actually basic two basic three actually so border this one so i want to have in the medium md this basic two or basic one so whenever i will have a small device something like that as you can see this is now something like three pixel and whenever i will in the medium or the large i will come back to the one pixel so the media query is also working means it is fully have the functionality for the responsive so also have some for our primary so just duplicate it so let's say that i want to have primary so actually what i can do actually here i can duplicate it yeah with primary not primary and for the primary one two three four five i want to use the color of primary color so for that select those and create our primary variable so here as you can see we have primary so also let's have our secondary so for the secondary i will have this just make those primary word into the secondary secondary so what we have now we have so much value something like basic one basic two three four five and also primary and secondary one two three four five and we can use this primary and secondary variable from here so let's use them so instead of this basic let's say that i want to have the primary and also whenever i want i want to have this secondary okay the color color is not working because we already have two color so we have this bc already as you can see that's why it is not working so actually let's remove this bc from here actually it is good to remove this bc from here so however we don't have this bc means border color we will have our primary color means whenever we will in the small device so as you can see that whenever we are in the small device we have primary means this crimson color and also we have three pixel solid border and whenever i am in the medium or the large we will have our this color this color which is the purple and also we have one pixel so let me just make it five so that we can see so as you can see that's how it is working so that's how the utility api works as you can see here you can use any kind of utility so also you can override all those utilities that put stop default have here from as you can see and make your own kind of or make your own version of put stop so that's it for this video i think now you can understand these utilities from bootstrap 5 and now you can create your own utility and also you can override this from here and that's it for this video i hope you learned something and my name is arfan i will see you in the next video till then bye bye kodahafis